What is going on, everybody? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. I'm so glad that you're back with me today because we are talking about one of my favorite accessories for the iPhone and actually even now for the iPad. This is the Backbone One Game Controller from Backbone. It is a game controller that's MFI certified, made for iPhone certified. So it works with any iPhone from the 6S newer all the way through the 12. It plugs right into the bottom of your iPhone using the lightning port that's on here. And it is designed to level up your gameplay, whether you're playing an iOS game, PS Remote Play, maybe even Xbox Cloud Gaming or even Stadia. This is the game controller that you want. So in today's video, I'm gonna answer all of your burning questions from the first video. I'm gonna show you some additional things in terms of what you can use it with, and I'm gonna show you how to use it with your iPad. Let's get started. Now, before we get in the video, YouTube tells me that 90% of you that are watching today's video are not subscribed to the channel. And I think that's a real shame because I love great accessory videos, just like this Backbone One game controller. It's probably one of my favorite accessories. It goes with me everywhere. Now, if you wanna catch more great accessories in the future, plus my full review of iOS and iPadOS 15, make sure you click subscribe, turn on that notification button right there, right next to the like button, so you don't miss out on any future content and you can be alerted when any other content comes out. Now, when we get into the video, it's gonna be broken down into different sections and each section will be pinned down in the first comment below. Additionally, anything I talk about will be linked down in the video description. Now, let's get into it. To familiarize anyone who has not seen the first video, this is the Backbone One Game Controller. It's $99, and this will work with any iPhone from the 6S on newer, including the complete line of iPhone 12 devices. It's gonna to connect to your iPhone using the lightning port that's here on the side of the controller, and this simply opens up and then snaps closed using your iPhone as the screen. Now, there are a number of different buttons on here. There are the shoulder buttons, the two joysticks, you have the D-pad, and then also the action buttons. There's a few additional buttons, including the launcher app for the Backbone, uh, taking screenshots, and a menu button. Along the bottom on the left-hand side, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack in case you wanna use wired headphones. And then here you have a lightning port connector in case you wanna charge your iPhone while playing a game. If you are thinking to yourself, hey, this Backbone one looks really cool. I wonder if it works with my game. Well, you're not alone because that is my number one asked question. Will it work with this game or that game? Now, I can't tell you which game it does work with. I can tell you the games that I play, the games that I've tried for testing, but there are so many games in the App Store, it'd be impossible for me to tell you which games it work with. Thankfully, Backbone has already went to the trouble and they've identified every game that works with the Backbone One. There's a link I'll put down in the description below as well as here. You basically can visit that link on your iPhone and see what games are supported just by simply searching for the title. Now, I'll leave you with a few guiding principles in case the game is not listed on there, but you still wanna check. If the game works with a controller such as a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, it's probably gonna work with the Backbone One because it's MFI certified. Second, if you're wondering if it works with PUBG, unfortunately, PUBG does not support controllers for movement. So if you connect this while playing PUBG, it's not gonna work. Third, if you want developers to support this, you need to leave an app review on that game telling the developer that you want to support MFI controllers or the Backbone One so they can incorporate that framework into their game. The only way that they will know about this is if you let them know via actionable feedback on their game. Now that we've identified what games are supported, let's talk about what platforms are supported. Now, obviously, Apple Arcade is gonna be supported because it is a third-party controller designed for the iPhone. You also have things like Xbox Remote Play, you have PS Remote Play, Moonlight, AMD Link, Steam Link, Stadia, NVIDIA GeForce Link, Xbox Game Pass, Shadow, Rainway, and Amazon Luna. So there's a ton of different platforms that you can use this on while playing games on your phone, which is great because it opens up the entire catalog of games that either you currently own or the ones that you're streaming. I love to use this with my iPhone while I'm playing PS Remote Play. I play games like Watchdog Legion and Hitman on my PlayStation 5. Now, in case you're wondering about PS Remote Play, which is the one I can comment about the most since I'm familiar with it, PS Remote Play is an app that's installed on your phone and you can stream your content from your PlayStation to your phone anywhere that both devices are on Wi-Fi. So if I have my PlayStation 5 at home, as long as I'm on Wi-Fi, I can play games on my phone using a direct internet connection. Obviously there's latency involved, but it's great because you can play those games, again, anywhere that you have Wi-Fi. If your phone is on LTE or 5G, unfortunately, it will not work. One of the questions I get asked most often is, can I customize the game controls that are on the Backbone One? And the short answer is yes, you can. In order to do so, you wanna open up settings on your iPhone. You're gonna go down to general. You're gonna go to game controllers. There, you're gonna see the Backbone One and you're gonna click on custom controls. From there, it shows you the default configuration. You can scroll to the bottom where it shows app customizations, and then you can then customize it on a per app basis. I'm the type of person who likes to use their iPhone without a case, which is why it completely slipped past me that you cannot use the Backbone One with a case on your iPhone. That's because it creates tension on the lightning port and you would experience disconnection issues. 
So you need to make sure that you are comfortable with removing your iPhone from the case before using it with the Backbone One. It is an inconvenience, but since it does impact gameplay, I think I'd rather have a better gaming experience than worry about dropping my phone while it's in here. You know, I'm holding this with both my hands. I think it's kind of unrealistic that I drop it inside of here. What makes the Backbone great, in my opinion, is that you can transform your phone into being the physical screen that you're interacting with just by adding the controller to it. And it really is immersive in that regard. Now your phone connects to the Backbone using the lightning port controller here, and there's no way for this to fit an iPad, let alone even the smallest iPad, which is the iPad mini. But what if you could connect this to your iPad using a cable, which is completely possible. You can use a breakout cable that is lightning female to lightning male to connect to your iPad. Let me show you. Here we have my 2017 10.5 inch iPad Pro, still functionally usable. I'm gonna take the female end of the cable and plug it into my backbone one, and then I'm gonna take the male end of the cable and plug it into the bottom of the iPad Pro. Uh, here I am, I'm playing all the games. I'm scrolling my library that's actually installed on my phone. Okay, let's open up PS Remote Play. And right now, what it's doing is it's connecting to my PlayStation that's in the other room. Sometimes the screen on your phone is just not large enough. Now this is a really good way to be creative and use your iPad that you have maybe laying around as a larger screen to interface with your Backbone One controller. Unfortunately, there's no way to adapt your Backbone to, via breakout cable to a USB-C iPad. So what that means is that they don't make a lightning female to USB-C male cable that works like this. Unfortunately, those type of cables do not work with this setup. So if you find one, let me know, but I have not been able to find one and I probably bought you know, 15 different cables and none of them worked. The total cost of solution was about $15 for this cable. And then obviously the backbone one controller, if you already had that. Now, in my opinion, this is a really great way of adapting old technology to new use cases because I have this iPad, it's five years old. It really is almost at the end of its life cycle. And now I can renew its life by using this $15 cable with my backbone and get a better gaming experience when I don't want to use, you know, my phone as a gaming machine. And this is really a great experience. Shout out to the Backbone subreddit where someone actually found this cable. I'll link down their profile below so you can give them thanks if you're on Reddit. But again, if you have the ability to use your iPad that is lightning based with this cable for $15, I think it's a no brainer because it adds so much value because you have a larger screen. So if you had any other iPad, as long as it was lightning based, not USB-C, like an iPad Pro or an iPad Air, you'd be able to do this. So let me know down in the comments below what questions you have. Hopefully you found something useful because this, in my opinion, was a lot of fun to make. I really love gaming. Hopefully you do too. My name is Mike. This is Tech 24-7 TV, folks. I will catch you in the next one.